Hundreds of lighthouses line the shores along Lake Michigan. Today I'm standing in front of the White River Station. The White River Station was built in 1875, just four years after the Great Chicago Fire. In the early days of the U.S. Lighthouse Service, lighthouses were built based on two general designs with local modifications and using local labor. Construction of the main lighthouse, originally named the White River Pierhead Light, began on August 28, 1875. Workers began by grading the hilltop for the new main lighthouse under the orders of Mr. E. Rose, the lighthouse service construction foreman. The lighthouse tower's yellow-colored bricks and limestone foundation came from various locations in Wisconsin and Michigan. The cast-iron stair steps in the main tower were made by a company in Muskegon some 20 miles to the south of the lighthouse site. Work on the lighthouse was completed on December 28, 1875, when Mr. Rose and his team left the site. The stately old building still reverberates with the memories and characters of some of its most prominent residents, including the first keeper, Captain William Robinson. Captain Robinson moved from England with his wife Sarah and served here for 47 years. In mid-April 1876, Mr. Crump, the lighthouse service lampist, arrived to fit the new lighthouse with a Fresnel lens and lamp. Light from the new lighthouse was exhibited over the waters of Lake Michigan for the first time on May 13, 1876. River Light Station and Museum serves as a physical reminder of Michigan's rich nautical history. Plan a visit, climb the spiral staircase to the top of the lighthouse tower, or browse the 19th and early 20th century photographs and nautical artifacts. Before you leave, be sure to look out across Lake Michigan as the lighthouse keeper did a century ago.